much. I'm the assistant principal for the Sullivan Bosey's Career and Tech Program. And this meeting is going to be recorded. So I wanna let all of you know that before we get started, we just wanna use this presentation for future use. So that's why we're recording it tonight. Um, the person who will be leading the discussion and answering the majority of your questions is our guidance counselor, Ms. Allie Fisher. And we're gonna turn the screen over to her at this point. And she'll give a presentation about all the wonderful programs that we offer at Sullivan BOCES. And then there'll be a chance for a question and answer at the end. So between um, Allie and myself and um, some of the other BOCES personnel who are here with us this evening, we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Okay, thank you. Um, so hi everyone, I am Allie Fisher. Um, I am going to share my screen and then we will get started. So let me present. All right, so welcome to Career and Tech. Um, some of you guys might've heard of us, um, but if not, that's okay. You're gonna learn all about us tonight um, and what we do. Um, I do see, I, I hear some new participants coming in. So if Donna or Lori wants to admit them while I'm talking, thank you. Um, so we are um, located within Sullivan BOCES, um, but we are the Career and Technical Education Center. Um, and we are um, providing education to juniors and seniors in high school. Um, so this is an opportunity for your child or you, if you are the student here, um, for the next two years while you're in high school. It's a really great opportunity. I'm excited to talk about it today with you guys. So these are um, some of the things that a uh, career in tech can provide you um, or your child. And um, I don't think that this even really encompasses all of it. Um, this is my first year working at a uh, career in tech. And um, I can honestly say that it is an amazing, amazing program. And um, it goes beyond just what's on this list here. Um, but these are also some great, uh, great things that, that we can provide for you. Um, so one of the big pieces of us is that we are a hands-on program. Um, so that means that, um, you know, your student or you are going to be learning hands-on. You're gonna be learning by doing, um, which for a lot of people is an easier way to learn. I know for me, that's an easier way for me to learn. Um, that's how I learn best is by doing it. Um, so I wish that I did this when I was in high school. <laughs> um, we're gonna go through a bunch of these bullet points um, throughout the presentation. And if at any point you have a question, um, like Mrs. Birch said, feel free to put it in the chat. Um, and we can answer it at the end. Um, if you have a burning, burning question, you can unmute yourself, interrupt me, um, and you can ask it. So what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> um, I like this question because um, I had no clue when I was in high school. Um, so it's, it, was a, it was a challenging question for me. Um, and I like to present you all with a challenge now. Um, and if you are just entering the chat, welcome, or if just entering the Zoom, welcome. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, just briefly, I, for, the, for the people that just joined, um, I'm Allie Fisher. I'm one of the guidance counselors at Career and Tech. Um, and tonight I'm gonna be talking to you about an opportunity that um, your child has for the next two years, for their junior and their senior year. Um, and we will watch a video. Um, so if you missed the beginning of the presentation, don't worry. Um, we still have a lot more to cover. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, when I was in 10th grade, I had absolutely no idea. Um, I could not tell you what I wanted to be when I grew up. Um, but the great part about our program is that you get to explore that. Um, and one of the things that I like to talk about when I'm doing these presentations for our students is that um, sometimes it's more, you know, helpful to figure out what you don't want to do than what you do want to do. Um, and that's one of the really, really good benefits of this program. You're doing all this stuff. You're kind of figuring out what you like or what you don't like. Um, that's one of the parts that I love about all of our programs. So 
Oh, here we go. One more person in. Um, so these are the programs that we offer at the Career and Tech Center. Um, I won't read off every single one because we are going to watch a video um, in a minute and it's going to show you every single program. It's going to give you some information on each one, uh, but this is just a very brief overview of them. As you can see by reading through these, we have a wide range of programs. So we offer a lot. Um, I think there's something for everyone here. Um, and usually if a student says what they're interested in or what they might wanna do in the future, I can figure out a program that, that would work for them. So this is another question that I enjoy asking and having um, people think about is what do you love to do? Um, so what are just, it's really just to, you know, get those gears turning. Um, what are your hobbies? What do you enjoy doing? Um, if you could pick any career in the world, what would you do? Those kind of questions. Um, and while we're watching the video, I like our students to just start thinking about that um, and start thinking about, you know, what it is they might want to try. Um, you know, if, if there's something that they're interested in, but they've never done before, um, just, you know, start thinking about that stuff. Um, and we're going to watch that video now. And then afterwards, um, I will give you a whole more, whole bunch more information. Um, and if you have any questions, again, just put them in the chat. I can answer them um, at the end. So here is our video. Welcome to the Career and Technical Education Center of Sullivan County. All programs maximize educational and career opportunities for students of all ages. The Career and Technical Education programs provide students with knowledge, work ethic, and skills necessary to succeed in post-secondary education, the workforce, or the military. Career and Tech offers high school students the opportunity to learn job skills through instruction, hands-on experience, and internships. All of our programs align with 21st century industry and learning standards, which foster college and career readiness. Jason Hotel, I'm in, I'm in 11th grade. I'm really glad I came to the auto tech program because I've learned so much and I know I'm ready to go into the workforce and succeed in life.
when I first started here at the Korean Tech Center, I thought it was a get out of jail free card for my home school. Like, you know, it's BOCES. We'll just come hang out here for the afternoon. You're on a bus. When you come here, you learn hands on activities here. And at home school, you sit in a desk sometimes. Not really that interested in what you're really learning. Here, you're choosing to be here and you get so many different opportunities. But coming here has really changed what I want to do with my career. I want to pursue this profession and it's something that everyone should get the opportunity to do. Hi, my name is Love Hernandez and I am from Monticello High School. I am in the Allied Health Program. If you're not quite sure as to what you want to do, but you know that you want to go into the healthcare field, I do recommend the Allied Health Program because you get to venture out as what different careers you would like to do and you don't exactly have to stick to nursing. You can go into surgery rooms and see if you like that or you can go into the dialysis room and see if you want to be close to patients or not really want to work with patients or you want to be behind the scenes meaning you want to be at a desk filing paperwork and there's a whole bunch of different healthcare jobs that you can do in the healthcare field that don't necessarily have to be nursing and it helps. My name is Kathleen Hotelling. Uh, I am in 11th grade. I'm very happy that I came to this program. I've learned so much from here, and if I wasn't here now, I didn't know what I would do. I'm very happy I took this program. Cody Totten. I'm in the Natural Resources Program at the Sullivan County Career and Tech Center. I came to this program because I wanted to operate heavy equipment and do some landscaping.
Upon successful completion of a two-year career in tech program, students may earn up to three credits towards graduation in English, math, or science. All of our programs meet the career and financial management graduation requirement. Each of our programs include articulation agreements with two and four-year colleges or trade schools. This offers students the opportunity to earn college credits towards an associate's or bachelor's degree. The Career and Tech Center at Sullivan Bosey strives to work with students to help them develop into responsible, qualified professionals, preparing them to become the leaders of tomorrow. Okay. So, um, hopefully that gave you um, a better idea of what it was I was talking about in the beginning, because um, I think that video definitely explains what we are and what we do better than I can. Um, but those were um, a glimpse into every single one of our programs. Um, and as you can see, um, they're really hands-on. They're really, really beneficial um, for your child. And we have really, really great opportunities um, in every single program. So I'm gonna go over all of that stuff right now. Um, and before I say that, I just do wanna also add that um, all of our teachers for these programs are industry professionals. So um, most, uh, all of them, um, before they were you know, teaching this program with career and tech, they were a professional in that industry. Um, so our construction teacher owns his own construction company. Our cosmetology teachers are licensed cosmetologists and have been practicing in that field. So, um, and obviously those are just two examples, but all of our teachers um, have been practicing in that field. So they bring with them a ton of information and experience and they have connections with people in the field. And um, I think that's a, a really big benefit um, because you're learning from people that have done this thing that, you know, that you're interested in. So that's just a side note. Um, so the high school credits, um, you can actually earn up to seven and a half high school credits over the two years um, in our program. So the way that we incorporate that um, is that we have math, science, English and career and finance built into the curriculum of every single program. So that's how your child can get those high school credits. Um, however, it does depend on what the district will accept. Um, so the districts can, you know, accept the math credit, but maybe not the English credit, um, but your child will still be getting that math credit towards graduation. Um, so that's why we say up to seven and a half, depending on what your district accepts. It's all different, um, but these classes are built in in a way that um, directly relates to that field. So um, it's not just going to be, you know, how you sit in a classroom and learn math. It's going to be, um, you know, adding up how to how to add ingredients for a cake, for example, in culinary um, or, you know, ratios of mixing hair dye in cosmetology or, you know, math directly related to construction, because obviously there's a ton of math related um, to construction. Um, and that same goes for science and English as well. Um, so our English component, um, you know, we help students build their resume, we help them with their cover letters. Um, the, you know, English can come from so many different places. Um, you know, you can have a student write a paragraph on something in natural resources or welding or anything. So. Um, if your child is um, maybe struggling in some of these core subjects, um, I do think that this is a really, really great opportunity for them because they'll be interested in what they're learning. So it will come easier to them because it will make more sense. <laughs> you know, sometimes science doesn't make sense to you, but if you're learning science in relation to a car engine, that might make sense to you. And sometimes you don't even know that you're learning science. So um, that's just, you know, a kind of brief overview of how we incorporate um, those core subjects. And then um, PE is also included, right, built into animal science and public safety. So your student would be getting their PE credit through that program instead of taking PE over at their regular school. And these are, all of our programs are half day programs. Um, so depending on your district, your child would either come for the morning half or the afternoon half of the day. Um, and it's every day of the week normally, typically in pre-COVID times. Um, right now with COVID, we are doing a hybrid schedule. However, um, in regular 
times. Um, they would be coming to us every day of the week for half the day. And then the other half of the day, they are at their home regular school um, doing their you know, regular classes and they follow the periods just like they would. But their morning half is maybe blocked out for career and tech and they come over to us for their afternoon half. So that's how that works. Um, and then we also um, have articulation agreements. So every single one of our programs has an articulation agreement or many articulation agreements with two-year co two community colleges, four-year colleges or trade schools. And this is a really, really big benefit because the students have an opportunity to earn between three and 15 college credits upon graduation, which obviously, you know, will save time and money. Um, these are college credits that they would not be paying for while they're in our program. So the articulation agreements are basically saying um, that, you know, because the student just completed two years in this program, they know the basics, we can offer them college credit for completing those two years, and they can maybe skip some of those introductory classes. So one of the examples I like to give is our public safety program. They have an articulation agreement with SUNY Sullivan that basically says that if the student finished two full years in public safety at career and tech, and they choose to go to SUNY Sullivan and do their forensics program, they can earn up to 15 college credits. They can skip some of those introductory courses because they already took them through us and they're gonna save time, they're gonna save money, they can maybe graduate a little earlier, start working earlier. So that's a big benefit as well. And with that, um, you know, it's not just getting the college credit, it's also getting these students prepared for college. So a big part of what we do is about pre prep preparation and work ethic and building that work ethic and, you know, giving our students the tools that they need to go on and succeed after high school, whether that be college, a trade school, directly into the workforce, the military, those are all, um, you know, things that we are preparing our students for. And I mean, this is my first, first year in the program, so I have not yet seen any students graduate. However, I do know students um, from when I was in high school. I went to Monticello High School. Um, I know people that went to career and tech. They did these programs and they are incredibly successful in their careers now. Um, and I do think that a big part of that is going to career and tech. Um, and it definitely helped them. So we also have opportunities for certifications. Um, so the majority of our programs offer certifications specific to that field. So uh, for example, our health occupations program offers a CPR certification. I do believe there's also an option for a first aid certification. Uh, we have our OSHA certification is offered in natural resources, welding, auto tech, auto body, and construction. So the certifications are really a big benefit to this program as well, because the students are getting these certifications with the help of their teacher. Um, so, you know, their teacher is there to help them. And after high school, they might be doing these certifications and they might not have someone like that there to help them. So I think that's a really cool part of this. Um, but also in some cases it can help them gain employment directly after high school. So the OSHA certification, um, as I'm sure many of you know, if you are going to do any sort of job site that requires that, um, it's important that a student has that, but they can get it right in high school. So they can, you know, they can get it next year or the year after, um, and, you know, they'll have that. It's, it's a great opportunity. Um, and then we also have two programs that allow the students to sit for the licensing exam right out of high school because they did the programs with us. So they gained enough hours with us to sit for those exams. So our cosmetology program, um, the students have the opportunity to sit for the New York State licensing exam right out of high school after their two years with us. Um, and our, we, we have a I think 100% pass record with that. Um, I believe all of our students that have taken that exam straight out of high school from us have passed that exam. Um, and it's the same with the certified nursing assistant exam. Uh, the students will gain enough hours through us that they can sit for that after high school. 
And then we also have some leadership opportunities. So we compete in Skills USA. Um, unfortunately, because it is my first year, I have never seen this competition um, and I don't have a lot of experience. I, I don't have any experience with this yet. Um, however, it is, from my understanding, a really, really cool competition. Um, it's a resume builder and um, it gives you the opportunity to compete with other students in your field of study. We went to nationals for our um, health occupations program one year. That's kind of cool. Um, and then we also have a national technical honor society that the students can um, be a part of. Here's some pictures um, and, you know, just kind of show you just how hands on we are. Um, if, if any of these programs are something that is interesting to your, your child, um, they're going to be able to do it. So they're going to be able to, you know, really learn the, the ins and outs of the industry um, while also practicing these skills. So they're going to come out of this program ready to go and they're going to have a leg up on other students um, that are coming out of high school that didn't complete this program, whether, you know, it's uh, if they're going right into the workforce they're going to have two years of really great experience under their belt that other students are not going to have if they're, you know, competing for those same jobs. If they are applying to colleges, we have a ton of resume builders here um, and a lot of opportunities for, um, you know, college credit and things like that. So that's going to make your child stand out among other applicants as well when they're applying to college. Um, and obviously that is very important. I have so much more to say. I, I don't wanna keep rambling though. Um, so I will say that um, we have a website. And so if you are interested in this for your child, or again, if you are a 10th grader here on the Zoom with us and you are interested in um, coming to us next year and joining one of our programs, you can read more about every single one of our, our programs. So I'm gonna actually show you right now. Um, what our website looks like. So this is our career and tech section within Sullivan BOCES. Um, and here is the video that we just watched. Here are all of our programs. So every single program has their own video that's gonna be more specific. It's gonna go into more detail than the one that we watched. They're gonna have some brochures and they're gonna have more information um, on the program. So I'm just gonna show you one example really quickly, um, our innovative design program, which I think is so cool. Um, here's a video that is gonna give you more information on innovative design. We have you know, some information here, and then we also have career opportunities um, that students you know, can explore within the program. Um, and if they are thinking about doing any of these things, then this would be a program for them. Also, we have a survey. Um, so this is helping us um, gauge interest for our programs and figure out you know, what, what we need to do for next year. Um, but if you are a student, please, please, please take this survey. It also helps your guidance counselor over at your district um, with scheduling because we give that information to them. And all you have to do is give us some background information um, and then choose your top three programs. So you're just gonna rank them. Um, don't fill in all of these bubbles, <laughs> just choose one per column. Um, and here is your choice one, and then whatever your choice two and three are after that. Um, and these surveys are also helpful because once you know we have your email address, we can give you information about your top choice program. So you know, let's say you choose um, health occupations as your choice one and health occupations is putting on an event. Um, maybe not right now because of COVID, but if um, in regular times they were, you know, putting on some sort of event, we can let you know that that's going on. We can, um, you know, send you an email and you can explore that a little bit. Um, I believe, I believe I covered everything that I wanted to. Um, does anyone have any questions? You can unmute yourself or you can put them in the chat. Um, I will also go back to this screen because I like this, this screen. I think that it um, you know, is important to kind of look at all the benefits of our program. Um, 
and let's see if I can pull up the chat while I am screen sharing. Here we go. If we have already taken the survey before, do we have to take it again or should we take it again? No, no, you don't have to take it again. Okay. Um, and also for anyone that wasn't in um, the Zoom at the very beginning, we are recording this. Um, so just for um, anyone that might've missed it that wants to see it. Um, and also we are just asking that everyone puts their school district of either you, if you are the student or your child, if you are the parent. Um, so if you could just put the school district that you are in, um, that would help us to see who came. Um, and if you're not comfortable putting the school district in for everyone to see, you can directly message it to me. There's an option for that in Zoom. And Lori. Also it'd be like you could um, send your email to Allie through the private message to her and she can send you any additional information or answer questions for you. If you think of something after this evening that you'd like her to answer, she'd be happy to answer any emails that she receives from parents or students. Yes, so I will put my email in the chat right now. Okay. Oh, I sent it directly to Christy, sorry. Okay, so that is my email. Um, and like, um, like we said, any questions you have, you can feel free to email me at any time. Um, and I will be happy to answer your questions or get answers for you if I don't have them. Um, I am still new, so I'm still learning all of this. Um, and if you want to give me your email, um, we can take those down. And if there's any, you know, fun stuff going on or any new information, we can send that out to you as well. I will stop sharing my screen now. Does anybody have any questions for Allie or for myself or any of the other BOCES staff that's here with us this evening? Did anyone see a program that they might think their child would be interested in? I don't have a child because I am the child, <laughs> but I am interested in taking the allied health. And if you go and if you do the allied health program, you can go to the hospitals and to see what's happening, get first person experience if you're not doing anything. So let me just jump in for Allie because I know she's taking a deep breath to answer that. <laughs> in a typical non-COVID year, yes, absolutely. We would try to expose you to so many different fields in the healthcare. Obviously this year it's been very difficult because so many places cannot, even though they want our students, they can't. And so our instructors are doing everything they can to um, make up for that for this year by having guest speakers and you know, showing all different types of skills. Um, they're doing the best they can under the COVID situation, but certainly in a typical school year, uh, allied students, our health ox students, uh, our new vision students would be out and about in the different healthcare uh, areas. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And I see in the chat, someone else uh, was interested in health occupations. I think that's an amazing program. Um, I know a few people that were in that program when I was in high school with them and they are very successful in their careers now. And I know that it helped with college applications and it helped with everything. You already have some experience. Um, and in, in some of the health hoc programs that we have, um, the students can kind of tailor it to what they're interested in. So if a student is more interested in, um, let's say pediatrics or more interested in x-ray tech, um, the teachers are really, really great about working with that student to tailor things to them. So, um, you know, they can do their assignment, but maybe their assignment is gonna be more related to what they're interested in. Um, a lot of the assignments the students can choose 
what, what their topic is. Um, so that's one way that they do that. And also, you know, they get them shadowing opportunities, obviously pre COVID times. Um, and, you know, they get them really involved in that field that they're interested in so that they can get the most experience that they can. All right, so if there are no questions, um, I think we can wrap it up. Okay, um, wanna thank Allie for giving a fantastic presentation. She did give all of you her email, so please feel free to reach out to her, to myself, um, any of us here at Sullivan Boses, be happy to answer any questions that you have and we hopefully look forward to seeing you in the future. Um, I do, uh -huh. sorry, I do actually have one question um, from Cheyenne. She said, if COVID wasn't, if COVID wasn't going on, what would we do in the nursing program? So, so, so that one, that's not one of my programs. Um, the programs are split between myself and the other guidance counselor. So Lori, if you want to. So, <clears throat> sure. That. Cause I actually go visit those classes constantly. Um, keeping my social distance, of course, but uh, there are actually four different health occupations programs. If you're talking about nursing, meaning the health occupations one and health occupations two, they, they teach you all the different skills in order to pass the certified nurse assistant test at the end of your second year. And you certainly would be exposed to all different um, hospital, mm -hmm. clinical, um, medical office situations. So as Ali said previously, you can get an idea of there's so many things in the healthcare field. You can get an idea of what you would like. And the instructors are great about trying to find placements when possible for something that you have an interest in. Um, so you would definitely come out with a skill set that you could be employed immediately um, by getting that CNA certification. They also give you a CPR certification. And I forget what the other certification is. Um, but so you could go right to work, or if you chose to go on, um, go to college, continue on, you certainly would be, you know, have a lot of skills, a lot of great things on your resume. Um, and we have a question. Um, she said, I want to be a pediatric nurse. What health occupation would I do? You could either go through, um, actually any of the healthcare programs. So Health Oc 1, Health Oc 2 would, as I said, really give you that CNA certification by the end. Allied gives you a little bit of a taste of everything. So you can see different things that you'd wanna do. Um, pediatric nursing certainly could do the Health Oc 1, Health Oc 2. If you're a really good student, and I mean a really good student, um, and you wanna try the new visions, that is a fantastic program where you'll come out with a lot of college credits and you know, wanting to be a pediatric nurse, you are gonna to have to go to college to, to, to get that done. Um, and you would certainly have a head start on that. I can speak from experience with the new visions. My niece went through it um, several years ago and uh, absolutely loved it. She went on to get her bachelor's and master's at Misericordia University over in, in, outside of Scranton, Pennsylvania. And when she graduated, she had her pick of jobs. She was recruited by places all over the country and she's now employed um, down in Charlotte, North Carolina. So uh, if you're a really good student and you know those grades are really good and you want to try new visions, that's an excellent place to go to. But not to say anything that the Health Oc 1, Health Oc 2, and Allied are just as fabulous. You really will get um, so many great experiences with those programs. And then we have um, a question, what program would I go through for being a NICU nurse? And I think that would probably be the same, um, the same answer for pediatric nurse, right? Yeah. yeah. So it, yeah, any, any one of those programs um, can definitely get you to where you wanna go. Um, but you know, if it's um, something more specific within nursing, um, that might be you know, allied health or new vision. Um, but then the CNA, Health Act 2 program kind of covers all of nursing. So um, you really could do any one of those. Right. <clears throat> it, the, just the new visions probably gives you more of a chance to get some of those college credits if you want to get a start on that before you graduate high school. Yeah. You know, if you really want more of the skill set, the hands-on skill set, 
Health Act 1, Health Act 2 might be a better choice. And then um, we have another question. Um, what exactly does public safety do and how many credits would you earn? First of all, we have the most fabulous, all of our instructors are fabulous, but our public safety instructor <laughs> is super fabulous. Uh, Mr. Barnett, um, great guy, is in law enforcement, is currently in law enforcement, currently the chief of the um, uh, town of Montgomery, not the town of Montgomery, no, I'm misspeaking, town of, <laughs> right outside of Montgomery, <laughs> he's going to kill me. Anyway, he, he is still the chief of police down there, and so he brings Again, so much real life experience. Um, Allie, you're gonna have to help me. I don't know if the public safety students come out with a college, any college credit. So it depends. Um, so like I was saying earlier with those articulation agreements, um, it depends on what you choose to do after high school. So there is an opportunity for college credits. Um, I don't have the exact list of, of uh, colleges that we have articulation agreements with for public safety. Um, but if you want, I can email you that list. Um, and each college offers a different amount of credits. So I know that SUNY Sullivan, I believe it's about 15 credit, 15 college credits that they will offer you if you are coming out of public safety and you're choosing to go into their, um, their forensic program there, I believe. Um, but I don't wanna, I don't know. If you want, I can email you all that information. I can get all that for you. Um, but and I just remembered he is chief of police in the town of Maybrook. Okay. <laughs> just came to me. <clears throat> yeah. And then um, what exactly does public safety do? So they do a lot, um, but basically they cover uh, security, corrections officers, um, obviously being in the police force and also forensics and also something that I'm missing. Um, they cover a lot of law, a yeah. lot of criminal law, um, forensics as you said so finger they do actual fingerprinting um, in a non-covid year they do a lot of physical um, self-defense and um, even in this covid year they do a lot of physical training so they do have one day a week where they just do physical training running exercises so on and so forth okay so you email me um, and can you just um, give me, you can email me, I put it in the chat um, for the person that asked about public safety, or if you want to chat me, put it in the chat um, and tell me your direct email. I can do that as well, I'll take it down. Um, then we have a question. So you would take allied health as the first slash baseline for any medical career, then after the course is complete, you can pick and choose more specific options. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> Yep, highlight is meant to be an overview. So um, some of the folks previously in the chat had said some sp specific, uh, like NICU nurse or a pediatric nurse. You might think that now that's what you wanna do, but then if you're on the pediatric ward and you're like, mm, this is really not for me, I would prefer emergency room or I would prefer you know, operation, whatever it might be. You, you'll get to see everything and then that helps you make a more informed, educated decision. Yes. So actually, sorry, the question, um, I said yes, but allied health is the second year of that health occupations program. So the first year, which is like the overview, the baseline is health occupations one, that's for juniors. And then for seniors, you can either do health occupations two, allied health or new visions. It gets a little confusing. I'm sorry. <laughs> And then, oh, here's the um, articulation agreements for public safety. Thank you, Donna. Um, so Bryant and Stratton College, Mohawk Valley Community College, Monroe College, and SUNY Sullivan. And every program has, some programs have a, a lot of articulation agreements. Some are newer, so they're still working on those. But I would say every program has at least like three, um, if not more than that. And um, so if, you know, any of these colleges or something that you are interested in. Um, it's also a great opportunity to then look at, you know, which programs we have articulation agreements with for them. Everybody else? Okay. Um, so I will 
put my email again here just one more time in case I got lost in this chat. Um, and if at any point you have any questions, please feel free to email me um, and we can either set up a time to talk if that's easier for you. If you have a lot of questions, um, we can set up a Google Meet to talk about it um, or we can just email and I will answer whatever you have.